Yeah. 50, 50 people gathering against. Councillor Eliza O'Donovan. Councillor Eliza O'Donovan. Councillor Eliza O'Donovan. Drinks, public drinking in the park. Yeah. Drinks beer in the park. Ghosts don't apply to her. Though. No, goes to events that uh, she supports, but because of her sectarian bigotry, can't tolerate this. She was up early to disrupt it. Yeah. You know, she calls her electoral area a constituency. I think she has constituents. She takes credit for work she's never done. There you go. There's the curve. This is uh, sectarianism in action. She's not motivated by any concern because she attends events all the time herself. Doesn't socially distance at them. Um, but, but she supports them, Black Lives Matter and other such things. Um, this upsets her. People are practicing their faith, expressing their religious freedom. And this really upsets her. Because at the end of the day, she's a sectarian bigot. And that's her motivation for this. No public health concerns because, like I said, she doesn't share those public health concerns for the events she attends. Put him in the way now. Maybe she comes over our way. <sighs> Councillor Eliza O'Donovan. Hypocrite. She attends events, of course, that uh, she supports, but is triggered by a religious event. She drinks, drinks in the public park, breaking city ordinances. Because, see, it's one law for her and another for us. That's the way she looks at things.
how she's shoving. She thinks she has constituents. Councillor O'Donovan, would you like to do an interview? Tell us about your drinking in the park there and how that's not hypocritical. Can you tell us about attending events during lockdown yourself that you support? Such as the one in Catherine Street where there was no social distancing, not even masks. Do you recall that one? Why are you opposed to people expressing their religion? Actually, no comment. Just asking questions. She's a public figure. She's announced her position here as being a councillor. I'm one of her constituents, even though they're a constituency. She's not a TD. She's a councillor. I really appreciate that. Thanks very much. See then. Bye. I'm not harassing you, Eliza. That's untrue. I'm just asking you questions. You're a public representative in a public space, and I'm asking you about your hypocrisy. Drinking beer in the park. That's against the law. 75 euro fine if you're caught. But you put it up on Facebook. Attending events down in Catherine Street, crowded events, Black Lives Matter events. They were that was actually you attended a, a rally that was banned. weren't you booted from your party because of it? Me. I am indeed, Lisa. Okay, well, no, I can't. I mean, we're in a public space, I and you're my, you're my, you're my. You're my, you're my, you're my, about my business. I'm doing my work as a councillor. You're not actually. Stop. This is not your job as councillor. Your job this as a councillor. It's not. To support my constituents. If well, my you constituents don't have constituents. You don't have, have constituents. You don't. You, ha you live in so electoral area. I'm sorry that you failed. You're, to you're, you're, you're a councillor. You're not a TD. So you're a councillor, not a TD, Eliza. You don't have constituents. They've tripled glazing, Eliza. There's no residents complaining. There isn't residents complaining. And you're not a TD, you're a councillor. You don't have constituents.
Argentina and Charm. Yeah. <laughs> 